guys, what's up? Junch here and welcome to a, another Counter-Strike movie making tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the uh, the skyboxes on certain maps or on all of the maps even. Um, so it adds kind of a lot more of a dramatic feel maybe if you go for a darker skybox or a lighter one or maybe you just put buildings in the background, mountains, things like that. I will show you exactly what I mean. So um, you can use this in any kind of demos. You can't do this while you're playing, unfortunately, because you do need SV cheats set to one. So we're just going to go over to the demos and choose a map that this might work well on. We'll just go with Dust and we'll watch the Go TV demo. Now, um, as I said, you will need SV cheats one, so you can't do this in any MM, Face It, ESEA, anything like that. Um, however, it is good. It is. It does look really, really nice to make your um, uh, cinematics or or recordings of players a lot nicer so let's set the draw hud to zero and we will resume right now i'm just going to go over here in fact it's probably be the best place to demonstrate them and we're just going to wait for the time to, to tick down Okay, so we've got a nice clean sky we can work with. So, um, as I said, the first thing that you want to do, I'll minimise this a little bit, put it over in the in the corner. Oh, if I can, there we go. Right, so the first, oh, I'll put it down there, actually. The first thing you want to do is set SV underscore cheats one. Um, so that's that's pretty much the only setup command you need. After that, it's just SV underscore sky name. And then whatever the sky name you want. So um, Banana Gaming did a really good, um, a really good video on this. And in his description, he made a list of all the different skyboxes um, that were used across all the different maps. So I'll put that in my description as well. Um, obviously, it was him that, that did it all. He found them all. So props to him for doing them. Um, so I'll just show off a few now, and then I'll leave it up to your own accord to find what one suits you best so if we wanted uh maybe the jungle one um so this would this would have been the skybox that was used in aztec and log the sky name we want to type in is simply jungle so you can see now we've got a lot of a darker kind of um skybox we've got a few mountains going on in the background um and you can see it immediately changes how the map looks um how the map feels um, so that was the one that was used in Aztec and Log. Um, if you want to use the one that's used in like Office, Cache, Overpass, um, things like that. This is quite a long one. So it's Sky underscore CS 15 underscore Daylight 01 underscore HDR. So you can see this is now the Skybox that's used in uh, Cache, Overpass, um, Office, the Safe House. Um, they all use this skybox, which is quite nice. It's not too different from the dust one. It's just got a lot more clouds and it's a bit darker. Um, and the lost, the lost one, the last one I'll use or show you anyway would be um, Vertigo. Bang! So you can see this is a very, very dark one um, at a particular angles. Um, and again, it just adds that a lot darker kind of feel to it. So if you were going for like a dark edit. Um, then by all means these would help it out a lot so that's kind of it that all that is it um, that is how to change all the sky boxes um, now as I said I'll leave the list of all the different sky boxes below credit to banana gaming for getting those um, and three commands I'm just going to quickly show you before we leave is uh, mat underscore post process enable zero so you can see that kind of takes off the blur a little bit if I pop it back on you can see and then we take post process off and it kind of brightens it up a tiny bit it's hardly noticeable but the next one we'll do is fog enable zero and fog override one so you can see now that gets rid of all the fog on the scene so it makes it a bit of a cleaner video if i put that back on again you can see kind of down here is it's, it's not very noticeable at all it's more noticeable on uh, like darker maps or or bigger maps where there's a lot more range in them but you can see just by popping it on it gets rid of it all cleans it up a little bit it's quite nice so if you've got any questions leave a leave a comment below um all the maps uh, and their sky boxes are below as well so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys if you did subscribe for more videos like this and uh, leave a like if it helped you out so thank you very much guys and i'll see you next time